I used to work as a visual merchandiser, and in this video I'm sharing a few of the tricks used in that field, and how those tricks can be translated into ways to make your home more harmonious and look more polished if that's what you want. You'll notice in the shop window examples that quite a few of them use several of the tricks at once, and you can do that at home too. Color Color can have such an impact. And this is from someone who barely has any or wears any anymore. My lack of color in my personal space probably stems from working with color a lot, so having none when I'm not working gives me a sense of calm and quiet, which I enjoy. But if you're into color, that's great too. In a shop scenario, switching colors in displays can be used to convey that something new is happening like the start of a new campaign. At home you can easily change the mood of a space just by switching out the accent color if you have an otherwise neutral background. Straight lines To achieve a clean orderly look in the shops I worked with, I didn't allow things on a diagonal. Imagine rows of display cabinets in a shop, and in them are displays and signs, as well as the actual items being sold. They're all pointing in different directions. Some are diagonal to the left, and some to the right, and maybe a few straight ones too. It's all very confusing and too much to take in at a glance. Imagine I swoop in, straighten them all, and align them with the cabinet itself. It would immediately feel so much less cluttered and more organized, and as a customer it would make more sense. You could take it in all at once and understand what's going on in there, what's being presented to you. At home this can be applied to everywhere basically. Place your side chairs parallel instead of facing each other slightly, and you will get a cleaner, more modern look. Lots of picture frames on display pointing in all different directions can be cool if you're into a more eclectic look. If you want a more clean style, I say go straight. And don't get me started on furniture on an angle. My mom insists on having some pieces of furniture on a diagonal in corners of her rooms, and it drives me crazy. Triangle Composition The triangle, aka the pyramid shape, is pleasing to the eye and automatically leads the eye from point to point and makes a group of items feel more harmonious in store and at home. Choose items of different heights or stack items to create the height difference. Don't spread your display out too much. Let the items be connected by overlapping them slightly within the group, both sideways and depthways. Allow for some space around your triangle and pyramid. Don't be afraid of negative space. Not every surface needs to have something on it, and that goes for walls too, by the way. Grouping if you were in charge of a shop's window displays, you would only have 3 seconds or less to catch the attention of a passerby, so you'd really need to create something stunning with impact that draws the eyes to your display. The idea of grouping things together is for the viewer to be able to catch everything at a glimpse and not have their eyes go back and forth between every individual piece in a display. At home you can use grouping to give you a less cluttered look, for instance on a mantelpiece or on top of a cabinet or countertop. Podiums in shops and trays at home are great for defining the groupings. Uneven numbers Florists use this trick when assembling bouquets of roses, for instance. Always uneven number if the count is less than 7. If you do even numbers, your eyes will want to groove them 2 by 2. So again, uneven numbers makes for harmonious viewing and allows you to take it all in in one take. Any number above 7, and it's too much to pair into twos, so then it's fine to go even. At home I use this trick all the time and usually go for threes whether I display small pieces like candle holders or arrange containers in my bathroom. If something feels off, try adding one or subtracting one so the numbers are uneven, and it might do the trick. Mm -hmm. 
Repetition. Repeating an item as in showing multiples of the same is a way to really bring the message come by this particular item in a shop and thus brings impact to that item. At home it's also a way of creating impact and can make common day-to-day -day items look more visually appealing when gathered in several of the same containers. Concentration a visual merchandising trick to get the most out of seasonal decor in shops without breaking the budget is to concentrate the decorations to a few areas instead of spreading them thinly around the whole shop. Those areas can be the shop windows, the cash desk and maybe a prominent display case in the shop. This trick can be applied to your home too. If you're into decorating for the holidays on a budget but still want to create an impact, don't spread those few pieces out all over your house. Instead, concentrate the decorations to the areas where you hang out the most, like your kitchen, or where you entertain guests, such as your living room. In there, also choose a few spots to decorate rather than spread it out. Those are my tips to use some visual merchandising tricks around your home. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel when you do. Also, please consider subscribing. I'll continue to share all things Scandinavian from my apartment here in Stockholm and beyond. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.